Hey there, this is Tom with TomJohnston.org. And today I'm going to talk to you about Grammarly. You can find Grammarly at Grammarly.com. I've got a link below. And this is a software product that you can use if you're doing any kind of writing. If you're building a business online, I don't think that good grammar is the key to getting traffic, but I think it matters. And if you're not building a business online, but you work in any kind of corporate capacity, anytime you're producing documents where a lot of people are going to see it and you want it to be right, I think Grammarly is a fantastic product. I've been using it for several months now, and you can start with the free version that's just a plug-in to Chrome or a couple of other browsers, and it will just algorithmically look over your writing. So I'm going to tell you what I really like about Grammarly and then I'm going to tell you the little shortcomings and the workarounds that I've come up with. And then you can try it out. It's free to try out and it's not that expensive if you decide to buy it. So the first thing I love about Grammarly and probably the thing that's most important to me is that it'll catch words that are spelled correctly but that are just the wrong word. So say you wanted to say, I'm going to the park. But instead of park, you said, I'm going to the pack, P-A-C-K. You know, most spell checkers are never going to find that. But somehow Grammarly, it doesn't find all of them, but it finds a lot of these. And honestly, I write pretty quickly. And having Grammarly in this sense, it's like having a proofreader just looking over your shoulder, but it's way cheaper. I mean, it's just a little over a hundred bucks a year. And, you know, I think it's worth it if you're doing any kind of writing or writing that you really want to make sure is accurate. Similarly, on punctuation, uh, Grammarly is really good at catching like maybe commas that you should have used, something like that. Um, and it just comes up and says, hey, you know, based on sentence structure, you need to do this a little bit differently. The third one and that I've also found really helpful and actually a little bit surprising, honestly, is that it'll catch when you're using the same word a bunch of times in a particular text or in a few sentences in a row. And actually, I had no idea that I was doing this. Like maybe you're talking about buying a cell phone. I said, buy, 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 buy. And Grammarly will come in and be like, you just use this a ton of times. Why don't you try something like purchase instead? And I actually have found this really, really useful. So those are the three things that really jump out at me um, as really useful. It's just catching the wrong word. It's helping you on punctuation and it's letting you know when you're overusing certain words. Or another one, the fourth one, is it'll catch it when you're using words that are just overused in general and, and tell you you might want to suggest something else. Okay, what is it that I don't like? The first thing is that if you use the plugin when you buy the premium version, you can plug it into Outlook, you can plug it into Word and elsewhere, and I find it, it slows down these applications, especially when you're booting them up, like with Word, it'll double the time, roughly, at least that was my impression, of booting up Word, and I just don't like that. But I found a really good workaround for this, and what it is is I just don't use the plugin for Word or Outlook. I just have the extension in Chrome, and I write my document wherever I'm gonna write it, Word, text file, Google Docs, whatever. When I'm ready to proof it, I go into Chrome, I go into settings, I go into extensions, and I just enable the extension. Then, just to give you real technically, in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a little green uh, circle for Grammarly. You click on that once, then that'll pop up something, and in the lower left-hand corner, there's a new document icon. You click on that, it pops up a new document, you paste in whatever it is that you need to edit, and you just quickly go through and take a look at their suggested edits. Boom, you're done. Copy, paste, move back out, disable the extension so that it's not slowing anything down, and you're off to the races. So I actually don't find that too problematic, but it is something I wanted to mention that it can slow things down if you're really using these plugins too much. Um, the next thing, and this is super important, is that Grammarly will sometimes make wrong suggestions. And especially if you're not a native speaker, but for anybody, what I would say is if you're using Grammarly, you really want to use your go with your gut. So even if uh, you know it makes a suggestion, if it just doesn't feel right, don't use it. Like I only use Grammarly's suggestions that are obviously right and I'll then implement them. So don't mindlessly use Grammarly. If you do, you're going to get in big problems and you're going to make things worse. So you really have to use it as a supplement. Um, similarly, it's punctuation suggestions. I think when it comes to comma rules and things like that, while I do use it, 
Sometimes I ignore it. I mean, we often write, especially online, more informally, and we maybe want it to flow better or more quickly or more conversationally. And therefore, you may want to, in some cases, just completely ignore that advice. Um, not a huge deal, uh, but something to keep in mind. Um, so that's really it. That's Grammarly. That's the pros and cons. I do want to say, though, that I, as we all know, um, one of the things I write about a ton at my other website, MightyInvestor.com, is financial independence and shooting like an arrow for that. And I do not buy software quickly. There's only a handful of pieces of software that I purchase on a yearly basis. And Grammarly is one of them. I use it and I do recommend it. I think you'll find it super handy. Even just the free version is really useful. Although personally, I did find the premium version worth the money. Um, so I suggest you give it a try. I do want to say this is, uh, I do have an affiliate link with Grammarly. So if you link through um, and then eventually purchase their premium product, I do make a small commission. It's not a lot, but it is something. And if you do, I really appreciate that. But I wanted you to be aware of that. So again, I'm Tom with TomJohnston.com. Take Grammarly out for a test drive. And if you like it, let me know. If you don't, tell me why. I totally welcome your feedback and I will see you soon. Thank you.